Low Facebook Live, Hunter Lewis, Cooking Lights. We are at the Time Inc. Food Studios and we are throwing a party tonight for 150 of our nearest and dearest. Uh, come join us. So I want to show you the outdoor kitchen. It's awesome. We built this hearth about six month, months ago. Um, it's modeled after a Uruguayan style hearth, Argentinian hearth. And uh, down in South America, this is called a parilla. And it's uh, a grill that works build a, a fire in the firebox and we're using oak today uh, the coals drip down and then you rake the coals over underneath the grate and uh, I want to introduce you to my buddy Robbie Melvin Robbie is a uh, tester developer with Tommy Food Studios Indeed. good guy all around and he uh, Robbie what are you cooking tonight we're cooking these great lamb meatballs we made our own blend of ground lamb and a leg of lamb seasoned with cumin caraway lemon zest uh, thyme, parsley, oregano, all these things, and we're going to fire them up over the wood fire grill here, just to give a little kiss of the smoky wood flavor. Um, it's gonna be delicious. And so you, this uh, works on a, a pulley system. Can you show us how to bring it down? Absolutely. We've had it. It's up. not very hot here either. <laughs> I've had it raised up till we get our fire right. Now I'm gonna lower it down <laughs> to where I want to be grilling these meatballs. You go up, and then you can take it down as close to the flame or as far away as you like. I want this to happen pretty quick, get this grill pretty hot. So I'm gonna go about right there. Yeah, dude, I don't think it's hot enough. I think you need more wood. More wood? Well, you know, let's do it. It's also how many degrees in Alabama today? Yeah, it's yeah. about 80. It's about 80, yeah. <laughs> so it's nice and perfect. Hunter, what are you cooking tonight? So tonight we're doing jerk chicken wings and we're gonna do uh, pickled mango with that. And then we're gonna do a, uh, a Thai salad with a fish sauce vinaigrette and little turkey sausages. So we're getting ready, we're getting our fires ready to do the jerk chicken. I'll show you the big green egg here. So this is the uh, extra, extra large Big Daddy and we've got our hardwood charcoal that's cooking down and once this is all gray over and it's ashed over, uh, we'll put the grate on and we're gonna sear our chicken wings here. Um, get some good color on them, render out some of the fat and, and then we're gonna finish smoking in them low and low and so they'll have a nice color on them they'll have some good smoke and it'll be really really good with some charred cabbage and uh, we're doing spears of pickled mango so we got uh, hot and spicy um, from the chicken and smoky and we've got sweet and sour from the pickled mango and then we got a nice sweet char on the cabbage as well it's gonna be a beautiful plate so we're cooking tonight for 150 people uh, this is not a typical day at cooking light um, we're doing a fundraising event for Jones Valley Teaching Farm, which is one of our favorite organizations here in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, we work closely with Jones Valley. We do healthy uh, cooking classes with elementary school students. And tonight, uh, we are cooking to raise money for the farm and their good school food program. So check it out online, Jones Valley Teaching Farm. Um, all of the proceeds from tonight will go to good school food with the farm. And it's one of the coolest things we do because uh, it gets us out in the community. And tonight we're bringing everybody to work to the new studio kitchens and uh, we'll have about 150 people. So do you guys have any questions about big green eggs, hardwood charcoal, fire in general? They wanna know what kind of wood chips you're using, but you're not. So we're using yeah. we're using hardwood charcoal um, and tonight that's oak. And then we're also using, uh, we're making our own charcoal on the, uh, on the hearth. And this is with full oak logs. And then we've also got a, a mix of a few different things. We've got some pecan chips. Um, check this out. So these have, uh, the pecan chips have a lot of oil in them and um, they give great, great smoky flavor. Watch this. They're supposed to snap very dramatically. Hopefully they don't get us. Smell them though? Yeah. And so I'll show you the, uh, the jerk chicken and the marinade. You can get a, a feel for how many people we're cooking for. So, we've got a lot of chicken wings here, flats and drums, and in this marinade we've got a ton of allspice, we've got thyme, um, some oil, a bunch of lime, um, scotch bonnet chilies or habaneros, salt, pepper, a little fish sauce, and so that all marinated overnight. And um, you know, one of my tips when you're grilling with anything that's marinated, like this jerk chicken or any kind of marinade, 
you want to brush some of that extra marinade off. Otherwise, it'll stick to the grill or the sugar in the marinade will, will burn too quickly. So, um, you brush that off and you put it right on the, uh, right on the grill. Um, so, these are going to go on in a few minutes once my fire comes down. And uh, how are we doing on time? We're about 5.30. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, somebody wanted to ask about the green egg some more. So, they're about to buy one and they want to know if you like it, how do yeah. you use it? So, um, I love the green egg. I'm, I'm a big Weber guy too, uh, but I've got a big green egg at home. And uh, the reason why I like it is... Uh, One of the reasons why I love this is that uh, you can go slow and low very quickly and um, you can shut the lid and you can keep it at low temp for, uh, for hours and you can cook pork shoulders overnight. So yeah, I would highly recommend a uh, big green egg and um, the police are here to crack down on us. <laughs> so uh, I highly recommend a big green egg, but you can also see our everyday smokers and grills here. We love Weber, um, love an old-fashioned Weber kettle. Weeknight, we're big on gas grills like this one over here, the Weber Summit. And um, when, we're, when we're having a party and we're showing off, that's when we use the big Perea right here. So fun space. This is sort of our, our zen spot. And we've got a bunch of people coming over tonight for a party. What else is going on tonight? Do you have else on the menu? Yeah, so uh, Robbie's doing the lamb meatballs. We're also doing um, porchetta, which is, uh, what do you guys do? You did pork loin wrapped around pork yeah. tenderloin, and then you have a pork belly pork wrapped belly around that. wrapped around that, and that's, each layer is seasoned heavily with herbs, yeah. uh, salt, pepper, good olive oil. So not exactly cooking light. Not exactly cooking okay. light, no. So we've got that. We've got uh, Ann Taylor Pittman, our executive editor, um, is doing grain salads from her new cookbook, Everyday Whole Grains, and she's doing a, a demo of that. Uh, we've got some ceviche, we've got some smoked octopus, uh, a ton of local beer from Trim Tab, um, we've got some local wine from Grassroots, and uh, we're doing a lemonade fizz, that's our signature drink. Yeah. We have the DJ styling of Swaz One, we bring in the jams. You're not playing? I'm not playing, no. Be, what kind uh, of beer are we drinking tonight? Tonight we're drinking yeah. Trim Tab. And uh, Trim Tab is one of our craft brews here in town, and uh, we love Alabama craft beer. One of the fastest growing craft beer states in the country, um, and it's meant a lot to our community here. The breweries here are our new community centers. We hang out there a lot, and uh, you can bring the dog, bring the kids, and hang out, so very cool. Our users would also want to know if, uh, if these will be posted online, <laughs> the recipes. The recipes? Yeah. Um, you know what, tonight we went off the, uh, to be honest with you, we went off the road map a little bit. We, uh, we maxed that on our sodium, maxed that on the fat a little <laughs> bit. So not quite cooking light, um, but we could probably put up a few versions of it. We'll put up some, uh, some versions of the jerk chicken. We'll put up a version of the meatball. And um, it won't be quite what we're doing tonight, but uh, it'll be close and it'll have the nutrition with it. Yeah, well everybody needs to indulge, right? That's right, that's we're, right. We're having a party. Yeah, we're having a party Let's tonight. Check out this girl some more. So I first saw this down in, uh, in Uruguay and it was really taken with it. And um, this is all made out of stainless steel and you build your fire in this box here. The coals drip down. As they drip down, you rake them over and then you just use this as you would uh, a regular grill. Um, you can do burgers on here, you can do steaks on here. You can also do whole pigs, lamb. Um, it's really awesome. And another feature, Beautiful. Come over here real quick. When it gets too hot, you get your little zen moment here with the waterfall. So we're, we're among the elements here. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up. Thank you for joining us, Facebook Live. This is uh, Cooking Light signing out. We're getting ready for a big party. We've got 150 people coming uh, to raise money for Jones Valley Teaching Farm. Check it out, Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, I gotta get back to the grill. <laughs>